Iron is an essential mineral. It is a necessary part of hemoglobin found in red blood cells and myoglobin found in muscle cells. These proteins are responsible for supplying oxygen from the lungs to all parts of the body and muscle tissue. Iron is something we all need. Foods like beef, chicken, liver, and legumes such as beans are rich in iron, and it would be natural to believe that consuming foods rich in iron would deliver more iron to your body. However, that's not always true. There are inhibitors of iron absorption present in many bean varieties that are rich in iron. These inhibitors prevent the body from absorbing the iron, so it moves through the intestine without being absorbed. It's very common for these inhibitors to be present whenever a bean is rich in iron. Think of them like celebrity bodyguards. They show up together, but escort them out before the body has a chance to see them. ARS scientists Dr. Raymond Glan and Dr. Karen Sihi, along with partners across the country, have identified a variant of bean, the Manteca yellow bean, that doesn't follow this trend. This bean is rich in iron without the inhibitors. Their research has redefined our understanding of iron nutrition, something that has a global impact. Over the course of many years and numerous studies, their research revealed an untapped opportunity to introduce this breed of yellow bean into mainstream U.S. agriculture. Beyond the nutritional value, this variety of dry bean boils in under 20 minutes, faster than any other dry bean, making it an ideal cooking choice to match the pace of American culture. But more importantly, how does it taste? Researchers say this bean has a creamy texture and a mild flavor that reminds some of boiled potatoes. Dr. Glan and Dr. Sihi carry on the ARS legacy of conducting revolutionary research for a growing world. To learn more, visit tellus.ars.usda.gov.